Here we are going to learn binary division of a fractional number and that too with varieties of example. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first of all, we are going to divide these two numbers. So here this is our dividend which is a fractional binary number and this is our divisor which is a whole number. So we are going to divide fractional number by whole number. So now here we will start our division with the normal method. So instead of taking only one digit, we'll start with two digits. So let's check is this two digits are equal or greater than this number? Yes, it is equal. So we can divide it by this number. So one 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 za one one. And now we'll subtract this one one from this one one. So we get zero zero. Now we'll bring this zero down and let's see is this number is equal or greater than this? No, it is not equal. It is less than the number. So we cannot divide this number by this one one. So we'll multiply this one one by zero and write zero zero over here. And now let's do the subtraction. So we'll get zero zero over here. And now as per the regular procedure of binary division, we bring this one down. So this is the number zero zero one. And let's check is this number is greater than this one one. No, it is not greater than. So what we'll do, we'll bring additional digit down over here. So it becomes one zero. So is this one zero is greater than the one one? No, it is not greater than. So now what we do? Now we'll assume that there is one more zero after these two digits. Because after this binary point, if we add one more zero over here, it's not going to make any changes in the magnitude of this number. So we'll assume one more zero here and we'll bring that zero down over here. So now this number becomes one one zero. And now let's check is this number is greater than this one one? Yes, it is greater than. So now we can divide this number by this one one. But before that, just remember that by process we supposed to bring only one digit down over here. But because this digit is not greater than this one, we have brought two additional digit down over here. So when you brought two additional digit down at the same level, you supposed to add two zeros over here. But remember one more thing here all these digits are after the binary point. So first you have to place a binary point here and then you have to add two zeros over here. And now you can multiply this one one by one and write one one over here. So one one ones are one one and then we'll subtract this number. One cannot be subtracted from zero. So this zero will ask borrow to this one and this will ask borrow to this one. So when this one gives borrow to the zero, this will become zero and this will become one zero. And now this one zero give borrow to this zero. So this will become one and this will become one zero. So one zero minus one become one. This one minus one become zero and this was already zero. So we'll write zero as it is. So now the final number we get is zero zero one. Here there is one key observation. We get this number 001. The same number we have got in our previous stage 001. If we proceed by assuming few more zeros and we bring down those zeros and do further division, we'll get the same repetition of this number 0010010001. And this will never reach to zero remainder. So when this is the case where you get repetition of digits in your quotient, you supposed to stop that division at that point of time and this number become your quotient and this will be your remainder. So we'll stop this division over here and this 10.001 will become our quotient or we can say a fractional quotient and this 001 will become our remainder. If you want to verify this, then let me give you a brief information. The decimal equivalent to this number is 6.5 and the decimal equivalent to this number is 3. So 6.5 by 3 gives you 2.166 and if you convert this binary number into decimal you will get a closer number to 2.166. It might be possible that you are not getting exact 2.166. The reason behind this is the digit of accuracy in this number. After this binary point we have taken the accuracy of 3 digits. If you take accuracy of 6 digit or even more digit, then it is likely possible that you will get more closer answer than this. Now here the dividend was a fraction number and the divisor was whole number part. In our next example, we just reverse this. Our divisor will be fraction number part and dividend will be whole number part. In order to simplify this division, we are going to rewrite the dividend and divisor like this. 
so this is our divisor we are not making any changes into the magnitude of this number we are just adding a binary point and adding two zero after this and this is our divisor we are writing it as it is now here what we are doing here we are shifting this binary point by two digits so that our divisor become whole number part the same thing will do with the dividend and the divisor so our new dividend and divisor looks like this they both will become whole number and now we'll divide these two numbers okay so now we'll start the division we'll consider the three digits 110 and let's see if this 110 is equal or greater than this divisor or not yes it is equal so we can divide this number so 1101110 and we'll get 000 in subtraction now one thing i want to point out over here in our previous example i have started the division by considering two digits and many times i'll start division by considering one digit so is it allowed that we can consider one digit two digit or three digit whatever amount of digit we want to use in our first step the entire explanation of this logic i have provided in just previous video of binary division so if you want to go for that logical understanding you can go and watch that video and if you are interested in short trick then remember that if three digit is given in divisor you can take three digit if two digit is given in divisor you can start with two digit this was just a trick to understand but the real logical explanation was provided in our previous video binary division now let's move further so after the subtraction what is the process we'll bring this one down and we'll check is this digit is greater than this no it is not so we'll bring down one more digit and let's check is these two digits are greater than this still it is not greater than then we'll bring one more digit down and let's check is this is equal or greater than this number yes they both numbers are equal so we can divide this number but before we divide what we supposed to do because we have brought two additional digit down over here we supposed to add two zeros over here and then we can divide so one one zero one za one one zero and now let's subtract so we'll get zero 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 now we'll bring this zero down and let's see is this number is greater than this no it is not greater than so what we can do so when this number is not greater than the divisor we supposed to multiply divisor by zero and write zero over here so 0 0 0 minus 0 0 0 we get 0 only right so we are not going to show that process so 1 0 0 1 0 will be our quotient and this 0 0 0 0 will be our remainder in future if you come across this type of case when you brought down a 0 and all other digits are also 0 what are you supposed to do just simply write total 0 given over here into your quotient and that will be your quotient and the remaining will be your remainder so in our case this will be our quotient and this will be the remainder now let's get back to the previous conversion so this is how we have modified our dividend and our divisor and this was the quotient we get after this modification so let's check whether this answer is correct or not the decimal equivalent to our original dividend and divisor is 27 and 1.5 and decimal equivalent to our modified dividend and divisor is 108 and 6 so 27 by 1.5 or 108 by 6 we get 18 and if you have any doubt you can check it in your calculator and then after just verify that what will be the binary equivalent to this 18 is it 10010 or not and if this conversion is correct then just write yes in comment section so by doing this type of small modification in our dividend and divisor we can easily divide the fractional binary number now i'll show you two more variations of numerical but before moving ahead i would like to ask you is this video is useful till now if your answer is yes do not forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to this channel once you are done with that now let's move ahead so here our dividend and divisor they both are fractional number so we'll write both these numbers like this and we'll shift our binary point to make the divisor and dividend whole number now here you need to remember one thing in order to make your dividend and divisor a whole number you supposed to move your binary point in order to make your divisor you require to make this binary point by two digit then same thing you have to apply in your dividend you have to move your binary point by two digit if it requires to make a shift of three digits then that shift of three digits should be equal for both dividend and divisor that you supposed to keep in your mind so here in dividend and divisor after this binary point we have equal numbers so our task is simple 
this will be our modified dividend and divisor and now you're supposed to divide these two numbers to get your quotient and remainder there is one more numerical we'll just rewrite the dividend and divisor like this and here you observe in our dividend there are three digits after the binary point and in our divisor there are only two digits after the point in order to make it a whole number we supposed to shift this binary point by three digits so same amount of shift we supposed to provide in our divisor also so this will become our modified dividend and divisor and then you supposed to divide these two numbers so now just quickly do this division and this division and write the answer in comment section and verify whether you have got the concept correct or not if you find any difficulty in solving these two then also you can raise your query in comments and then i'll show you the step by step solution for these two numericals and if you find any other difficult division that questions you can raise in the comment section and i'll solve it and show you the step by step division in order to increase your expertise on digital electronics logic gates or other arithmetic operations you can refer this playlist and this video so now let's quickly jump to the next video and enhance our skill